Hello, it's Sarah. And I just burned this, you guys. I have... I've been putting these... I've changed around a lot of this stuff in my house. And I brought this one down from my bedroom for inspiration. This one I have added white, gold, and I did some like burnt umber floating to get it to look like it was shaded so you can see that in some areas I don't know what I'm going for when I start these so you know I kinda the only things I did that I can describe to you are in this one where I shaded I just made little circles but on this part, when I did the yin-yang, I burned in a straight line to get the shading. And I did the straight line effect here around the flower. And I did little circles around this. So that's like the only different type of... And it's definitely darker when I do this, and it's lighter when you do the straight lines. Um, I did some cross-hatching. Uh, here and here which I really like and I'm debating um, kind of checkerboarding that like painting uh, every other one but for right now I just want to do some shading some floating with gold um, I'll show you again I'm gonna pull this one down so on this one I don't even know if it's floated. Let's see. It looks like I've just filled in some places. Like I've literally painted in the whole thing. So it's not floated. I don't think I floated the gold on this one. I just filled in different areas. I floated a little bit of gold on these um, swirls. And then the only other thing I floated was like the dark, the burnt umber to get it to look shaded. So I'm just going to start, maybe I will paint in with like a number two round brush. Um, I need a paper towel. Let's see, I think I will paint in, and I'm tempted to... I don't, this is like the hardest part about design. Now, this also is, this is Glorious Gold by DecoArt, and I love Glorious Gold. It's my favorite gold. This is just a, a folk art metallic. It's a um, enamels, one of their gold en enamels. So I just wanted to see what the difference, the color looks very similar. I think that looks good. I'm going to try this one because I have a ton of it. I'm almost out of this. And I'm going to paint in these, um, the comma strokes. I did add a little bit of water to my brush to get it to go. And really these metallics are not opaque colors. They're just transparent anyway. Um, and my thought was with the wood burning is it just gives another dimension or color instead of me um, wood burning different um, different lights and dark let's see so it almost looks transparent like clear and then it just has a, a little when you look at it at it like at an angle it has a shimmer to it I think I'm going to do a couple with the other color gold and see if there's a difference. I have a feeling there is, and I don't love this brush. I'm going to go to this one. I'm just trying different different brushes. All right, a little water, but I blotted it all off. And now I'm loading it in the um, Glorious Gold by DecoArt. It's a different, it's a different... <clears throat> totally different totally different coverage now I did also take this out and spray it now you can tell I did the folk art here and this is the glorious gold it's not picking up on camera but there's a difference there is a difference this is covering way thicker this is like yeah I'm gonna go over it all with the glorious gold 
but I think I'm going to put it on the other ones too. Oops. See, and then I get a little crazy and I go out of the lines. Which it doesn't really show as much on the wood burnings as it would on a... But I have these little ones too. So I'll paint those too. And then I'm debating, like I said, if I want to um, do some shading like I did on the other one. Um, but I'll go away and come back with that. Th maybe these two. I think I am going to do them. And these. So one, two, three. It might be too much. But I really want to figure something. I think I'm going to float in here. I'm going to do something floaty in here. And floaty up here. Like where these twisty turnies, which I love these. The hearts that I did all these twisty turnies. Um, I think I'm going to float brown in there. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so I got the, oops, Kiwi is here because I got a new chair in my craft room and she doesn't like it. It's like bigger. But I think I'm going to shade, let's see what she does. I'm using a traditional burnt umber and I'm just going to float. I think I want to go something in here Pro oh I'm gonna go down both sides of the aha that's what I'm gonna do hey Kay you're just gonna be okay oh yeah this is gonna look cool my boys are here again we're being silly Okay, and then I'm going to go on the other side. Kiwi, get off. Don't get the paint. Don't get on the paint. So see? Wait, I got to uh, get out of the paint. I got to bring it in a little. See? So I did both sides of this one. Only one of that. So this is what I'm going to do. And it really makes it look cool, you guys. So, I mean, I've been looking at a lot more bur um, burning, different work and things of the bur that burners do. And I know I could do it if I just take my time. and Because getting the highs, and it's just a technique almost. Like, this is so much darker than that. How about, how about, Stop. You're going to jump in the paint. I just know it. Anyway, I like adding paint to it. It gives it a whole nother uh, bu, 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 dimension that is uniquely my own as well, right? I mean, I could wood burn and do it the way everybody does it. But I think by adding the paint and the color to it. Now, um, I haven't done a mandala in a while, so, and I just felt like being super meditative and wood burning really does that because I just, you're just making marks. You don't really have to, you know, and I never know how it's going to turn out. I just do it. I choose it and I do it. That's what Barb Owen taught me. Just choose a, choose a move and repeat. Choose a move and repeat. Oops, too much water on my brush. And then, you know, you get to where you are. But, let's see, I want to do... I'm hopefully staying in the shot. Anyway, um, by adding acrylic paint to these, it's really... Keeping it fresh and new. Innovative, right? Actually, there's a, a class today on innovations in decorative painting. Or decorative, what is it called? Creative innovations. And um, it's uh, glass painting. I have this mug. I'm going to paint. Um, 
Oh, I meant to go to the dollar store, but I didn't. I had that from a long time ago. Um, anyway, because I was painting my Christmas stuff, and I just, I needed a break. I've been painting for a while, right? You guys know how I do. I move from um, project to project. I'm going to come up because I'm coming out of the shot. Um, project to project because... It's not that I get bored, but I feel uninspired. I guess that's a form of boredom, but um, I still have to do ornaments. When Liam was here the other night, and look what we did. We did the Grinch. I didn't finish them, but I started to... Uh, he did his. I helped him with his. He just drew it from his own memory. I look at Google all the time. I Google it. And I look at images, and I drew it myself. But, um, yeah, when I cleaned my desk off, I put the paint away. And then I thought, I'm going to make a mandala. Because I just wanted to refresh and doing something new. Or not new, but different. Um, gets my juices flowing again. So, um, oops. I just wanted to do this and it's gift giving time so I'm thinking I have someone in mind that I might I have other mandalas too I need to put them on my Etsy store I really do because um, we have so much stuff around this house uh, where was that one right here this is the last one and then I'm gonna stand back and take a look oh yeah Something about these flowers, though. I put. I ended up putting gold here on this little, kind of like a sunbeam. Um, so I have plenty of gold. Gold, gold. There's four places of gold, and I've only shaded that one place. I could put a little on this flower. I think I'll do that to separate that from the yin yang in the center. And you know, yin-yangs are kind of my signature on these. I like to start out my mandalas with a yin-yang in the middle because it's all about balance in my life now. And it me it's balance in so many ways. It's not just one way. It's in everything you do. Um, so I'm I'm in a, I'm on a spiritual journey, guys. I'm trying to figure out who I am and what I am and um, connect to things. Stop, Kerbo. She probably wants a toy. All right, so I did that. And then I could put it on the flower. I think I need it out here. I need to ground that to the piece. I'll be right back. Yep, her little bone was under the... Uh, She's so cute when she wants something. She's just like, Argh. she gets down there and is like, look, there it is. I need that. All right, so I'm getting a little bit of a bigger brush. Same color, burnt umber. And I'm going to, let's see where I'm going to put this. On the outside here, maybe not near the dots, but um. I don't know if I love that. Huh. I think I'm going to take it off. And see, as long as it's still wet, I have I sealed it. So I'm just going to take it off. I sealed it with an acrylic sealer. I'm going to move around to here, and I'm going to... Oh, gosh, they're both in here. Um, I think I'm going to do it under. I really enjoyed making these swirlies. This was such a fun area that I worked on. They're really cute. I'll show you. I don't know why it was the end too and maybe that had something to do with it but like adding this little part here on the tip like I don't know I just got a kick out of it. And I'm gonna add more shading but I just wanna I'm doing one little section at a time so right under this 
that's where I'll, I'm putting it. And then I'll, I'll look at it, I'll have a look at it, and I'll decide where I'm going to put the next one. And that might be it for the shading. I might be done. I don't know that I'm going to add any white to this one. I had added, on the other one I painted white for the yin yang and then I added white and I, I think oh, I could still do that. I could add white to the petals, to the tips of the petals, see? Black and white are good, uh, oops that's very dark. All you do is just blot. Eh, it doesn't matter. Um, I don't know why it's getting, maybe my, my spray can is running low of my sealer, so maybe that specific spot didn't get any sealer on it, and so it's not acting the same. I don't even know if I'm in the shot, you guys. Yeah, I am. So like I said, when I did this, and I want to make videos for you guys, but sometimes when I'm in the craft room, I'm just really zen. I'm not, like sometimes when I do this stuff, I don't even talk, like, and I'm talkative, but I don't need to talk. I just, I'm so focused on what I'm doing. And I was just reading about that, and that's when you find your, your spirit, your serenity, in the quiet. So, um, I've realized that my crafting has always been my spirit, my serenity, um, my, my calm, my zen place. And I'm so thankful for it. And that's all I have to do when I need it. I just come in here and make a few swoopies. Okay, so now I'm back to the beginning. And if we look at it like that, it even looks cool. So it's on the bottom here. Should I put it on the bottom there? Boy, that would look good because it makes it... Or I could go opposite and go on top. I think I'm going to go on bottom. So I'm just going to, I have to turn, I'm going to go, let's see, no, 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 all right, sorry, <laughs> figure out how I, how I want to do, okay, right here. So I am going to do the exact opposite on the, op or the same thing on the opposite side. I don't know why, it just grounds it. <laughs> Um, and that's all the brown shading I'm going to do, I think. I think I'm going to do white, though. I am going to add a little bit of white to the daisy, the little flower right there, and maybe to these checks. I might actually do every other check a dot of white, and I can literally just use a dot. I don't have to kind of color in the square. I think if I just dot in each one, it'll at a distance, it'll look like it's painted. So But look how oh my gosh, see so this is what I love about well, innovations in painting, we'll say, um Mixed media itself is when you combine all the things you love, it's only going to be better. <laughs> How could it not be better? And sometimes it can, like it was overwhelming for me when I first did uh, art journaling. Because I thought you had to do everything. You know, you had to put, um, oh, am I done? I already did it. Every single one. See, it's so fast. Okay. So I'm going to come back up, and I am going to get out some white, you guys, because, oh, there was one more thing I wanted to do with the shading, and it's the little center. Even though I put all the dots, I'm going to just shade the center of the daisy. Just the bottom part. And... Maybe, you know, because this is such a monotone piece. Ugh, that was so dark. Let me just blot it. Um, 
the camera it may not pick it up and it might not look as different as like I, I actually film it because I want to see the before and after like when I first start how it looks and then when it's done how it looks and there it is oh my gosh every time I do it it makes a difference it does oh my gosh I'm so excited all right white um, white white or yeah I think I'm gonna use white white because I could use creamy like more light ivory or oh man I'm so excited because guess what I'm gonna do the very first thing is the daisies the yin yang and the daisies I might do only that and it's gonna be a float and then yeah I might do the checkerboard so let's See, I'm going back to my number three, my three eighths inch angle, and I'm going to do the tips of the petals. And see how I quiet down right away. It's just so like you when you're focused on one thing it just feels good to me everything else disappears and you're just present you're present right now it's like meditation I swear OMJ wow that made that pop I want to put it everywhere. Um, I could put it on my heart, but see, I don't want to get carried away. Um, I could put it, I'm going to put it on the yin yang. So I'm going to actually, I'm going to paint it in. Somebody's at the back door. My dogs, you know, I think they know when I'm busy and they just, you know, it's like a kid. They just, you know, as soon as you pick up the phone to make a phone call, they need you. Um, I did not go for my walk yet today because I was half done this. I started it last night, kind of late actually, and I got tired. And you shouldn't burn when you're tired because I'm tired right now actually. I got up early too. <sighs> And, um, yeah, it's like, then this, because it is so meditative, meditative, I, it makes me sleepy. And I've had my two cups of coffee. Um, oops, I don't want to go too much on the brown. But that is popping. All right. Um. So I'll be back when I'm done all the, uh, well, I might as well leave it on. You get the drift, though, you guys. This is basically, I think, this is all I'm going to do. But I can see the tips of these petals. And I love it. Anyway, I said I didn't go for my walk. And... So I'm thinking, well, it's getting late, but I think I can, I think we're getting pizza tonight because we haven't had pizza. We get HelloFresh. It's a, a, a food delivery service that you get. I think we get three, well, I know we get three meals a week and it's like fresh produce and, um, and recipes that you make. So we've been enjoying that so much since, um, the COVID we've been doing that, but um sometimes if so we cook together and it's so fun but sometimes if uh like I'm tired and you know I'm gonna go for my walk late then we we just order pizza or something um so I think that's what we're doing today what's today Thursday but I was gonna say I could take a dog with me too today maybe I will because you guys need to get out because they're so rambunctious.
like children. Can you see that popping? Oh my God. I kind of like, this reminds me of a leaf and I kind of want to brighten that up, but I don't think I need to. I am loving the white. So there's a big difference for me with the the tonal, the tone on tone wood burning mandals that I do compared to the color ones that I do. Um, basically, the color ones I don't do any of the shading. Like I don't darken in any um, sections with just burn. I'm only using color. So, um, oopsie! I just rolled my brush into the puddle of white. Um, when I combine pink, the color, which white is a color, right? I mean, it's not color, color. And the burn, I, I, I don't know. It gets me so excited. But I don't want to get, like, I don't want to put green or blue or, I'm going to keep it gold, white, and black. So just, and the brown, well, I mean, the brown is basically me cheating at, uh, what I should be doing with the burner. OMG. I'm going to have to do another coat on that. Oh man, where else? White, white. It seems like it needs more. Oh, I'm going to have to do... Let's see. Should I do it with a dotting tool? Because dotting is really fast. But I think I'm going to go here. Oh boy, that'll make your eyes go. Uh oh. <laughs> It'll make your eyes go crazy. I'm basically just putting in little lines. Oh, see, that's not the one. You got to stay in a row. Eh. I don't know if I love that, actually. I'm going to get it off. So I think what I'll do is float. I'll float white um, on the bottom. I'm going to float white on the bottom of those little triangles. And when I'm making the mandala, like I'm actually designing it with pencil, I don't know where I'm going with things. Like it's just, Barb Owen taught me how to do it and you just pick something and you go. You make a choice, OMG. I'm loving how it's skipping over the burn line. Watch this. So the paint is not going in the burn line. It's staying brown. Oh my gosh. Wow. I didn't know it was going to do that. What in the world? I don't know if you guys see that the way I do, but that looks way cool uh oh too much paint i got it in the see how it went in the the paint went into the uh the groove so i have to back off don't get too much paint sarah and float it across oh i just want to do this forever i want to do that forever <gasps> Oh my God, look how bright that looks. I gotta do it, I gotta do it to this one, to this cross hatchy thing, or, no, I'm gonna do it to that. Okay, let's be careful, there I go. Do you see it? 
See, because it'll get too hectic. If I if I put it in too many places, that's what happens. It gets too hectic. I'll regret it, but it's really fun. That is amazing how that's doing that across that crosshatch. Oh. <gasps> Oh, that looks gorge. You know what? It looks like lace. It's giving me like the impression of lace. Oh, oh, went out of lines. Handy dandy Q-tip. Where are you? Over here. Can't really notice. It's just on the brown right there. Can you see that from above? Because I, I think I backed out, didn't I? shouldn't be oh doesn't it oh doesn't it look like lace I have to do it to the heart sorry I get a little excited oh my god I get excited you guys why do I get so excited see this is why I had to do this because I I needed to do something oops I'm going a little fast. Something new that would give me this feeling. I like this feeling. It's a little bit of a crafty rush um, from trying something new and it working. That's part of it too. Like, you know, I've tried plenty of things, new things that didn't work or that frustrated me. It's not the same. <laughs> so, um, when I do something I'm fairly good at and then put a little spin on it, OMG, I'm doing the hearts. Now, the decision. I did the color to the bottom, to the bottom. I should probably do the heart to the bottom, but I really want, I like doing the little bloop bloops of the heart. You know what I could do to change it up? I could do the white on the tips of this and the tips of that because I kind of think I want to do the bloop bloops. I'll do it both ways or I'll do the whole thing. What the heck? Look, it's my piece. It's not the end of the world regardless. So let me get over here and do the bloop bloop. I think that I like that. I think I'm going to do it on the um, the blue blue parts. So whoop, let me go this way so I don't put my hand in wet paint. Like I was going to spin that way, but that's wet. So I will spin it this way. Oh boy, see I get a little too heavy handed with the paint and the paint goes in the um, burn in the burn lines. I don't want that. I just want it to go on the um, the wood that's not burned. Eh. I think I'm running out of paint actually. So my brush is a little, what are you doing? Oh Kirby stop. Hey. Stop lickety in. And we're in the home stretch. This one was already done. I just double did it. Double doing that. I'm almost done. I think it's looking so beautiful. I think I need to put white on this flower and then I might call it done. Adding the white. Wow, what a what a awesome idea Sarah <laughs> um something about this makes me want to put little white dip dots there and I'll show you because on this one I ended up putting uh where are they I could have swore oh here I just put little dip dots in between the petals these were already little circles that I paint that I burned uh but you know what? Anything goes. I can do what I want. Uh, where was I? 
parts. Kirby, what are you doing? What are you licking? All right. The hearts are done, so let me come out. It's getting prettier. But something about this leaf, like I need to put some type of white in there too, maybe. Because I'm getting, maybe, a, uh, I don't know. So right here I'm going to do, uh-oh, see it fills in the little hole. I don't want it to do that. I could, I just need less water on my brush and more paint. And then it will, Kirby, seriously? You, like, I'm filming. Can you pick a different place to go? It's just a little shine, a little, you know, brightening up along the tip of that petal. But I don't want to lose the burns, you know, the, whole, the dots and all, so you got to be careful. But I like it. Okay, I think I might have gotten carried away with the white, but... Um, this is, look, I may have to do another coat here. And then something has to happen here because I've gone white, white. Ooh, I could put white. Oh, look at this. I think I'm going to put white right here. Okay, I could float it, but I think I'm going to solid it. I am gonna so I do like the checkers too like that's been one of my signature things that I put in most of my mandalas and I do a black and white check or um, that looks cool see I could just keep going and going the good part is though, oops, I put it on the dark. I don't want to lose um, that it's a wood burn piece. That's what I try not to, um, I'm missing them. I, wanna, I don't want to lose the wood burned effect because, you know, that's the whole point. So some of the pieces that I wood burn, people don't actually realize that, that it is wood burn. They think I've just outlined everything when I paint it. So to me, doing it this way, you do feel it, it has a much more of a wood burn feel. And then the paint is just a bonus, you know. I need more white paint again. Um, and that's... I mean, I, I do love the other, my colored mandalas too, though. But I'm just liking this combination makes it my own. Kirby, seriously, go. Go away, Miss Lickety. Um, cause I, I bet you can hear that. I only use my camera microphone. I don't have a microphone. I have one, but I don't use it. Actually, I have like a headphones thing. It's not a, a true microphone. Like a, I don't have a boom mic or anything like that, or even a clip on. I might have gotten crazy with the white, but I do feel like I need to put it on here somehow. Let's see. Um, am I still? I am. I have to do something in here with the white. And I could just go right down. I'm going to get my smaller brush and I'm going to try and um, just go down the edges of that. And I think that's going to be called done after that. Because I've walked it out far enough. It's just this big section. 
um, feels like it just feels like it needs it so I'm gonna try it I don't really want this to go in the wood burn line though I want it to skip over it if my brush is too wet I think it floats down in there I want to do both sides before I decide. Oh, see, it's covering it up. You can still see it. Ugh, I don't know if I love it. All right. See how. I literally am doing the same thing, the same movement, and I just turn the piece. So let's look at those. I did four of them. I think it has to be like that. I think it needs it. And then actually, I think I might have to do something up here too with white more. I gotta stop. I'm getting carried away. Yeah, I think this is the last thing I'm gonna do, and it's done. And I think it's good. I don't, it doesn't need to be perfect. I'm definitely a good enough. It's funny because when I finished burning it, I take it into my kids or my husband and I'm like, what does it need? What do you, you know, how does it look? They have no clue what I'm talking about. They're like, it's good. So it's all, I think when you just des design something, um, um, you're your own worst critic and this isn't floating across the way the other ones did is it? It's falling right into the, the swirly. Anyway, we're our own worst critic and no one really sees it the same way as me anyway because they're just taking it as is, right? As it is, not what it could have been or what I wanted it to be. None of those things are really involved anymore. It's just what it is in that moment. Boy, I'm telling you, I am so philosophical. I'm philosophizing too much. I'm a philosophizer. All right, I'm going to come back to... This side right here. And I will varnish this um, since I've already sprayed it with a, uh, a spray sealer. I just want to varnish it again because of the paint so that the paint uh, stays put. I signed my name. I burned my name on it. So, um, yeah, it's just to kind of give it that last final seal and um, I like I have been using a matte varnish on these I don't want to add too much glam I want to keep the uh, integrity of I don't know what there's I don't know <laughs> you can do whatever you want satin there's satin matte and, and gloss and then I've been using a lot of glitter because it's Christmas time and I love using glitter so and this has metallic, and if I was going to add a, a, a gloss varnish to it, sometimes it takes away from your metallic. So, um, just going to go in with a little bit of a wider brush because I want to um, just add a little bit more white. I think I need some. This bottle is just really empty, so every time I only a tiny bit comes out, so I'm just going to add it here to make it more smooth looking. Uh oh, it went right on my dot. I will get it off. So after this whole day, Kiwi's been back um, up here with me on my shoulder, but told you she didn't like my chair but she's kind of chilling now maybe it's the sound of my voice and she's just comforted by 
Oh, this is just normal. This is nothing different. It's just a chair. Mm, it just has a much higher back to it. Then my, my other chair was much lower, so um, I think I did it. Um, I think she just doesn't know what that big thing is sticking out back there. I think I'm done. I think I like it. I think I could even shade, like, even though I did it with the burner, I could shade that more if I wanted to, but I like it. OMG! I wish I had a before and after picture. Just adding that gold is everything. And you know what? I'm so happy that um, I made this, and I'm happy that you are here with me. And that's it for right now. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching.